Anyone who comes in definitely has to grab a three cheese, three mushroom toasty, probably with a long black. So about a million of them a day. So Mabel was the name of my motorcycle that I left up in Brisbane when I moved to Adelaide. So I didn't bring the bike down, but I obviously missed the motorcycle. So I named my cafe after her. She should definitely have a nitro cold brew. I don't know too many other places around town that do it as well as we do. I first tried it while I was traveling in the States, I don't know, probably several years ago now. And I came back to Australia and no one was really doing it here. So I spent a little time working on it in the roastery and yeah, put it on tap and it's gone gangbusters. Uh, what makes a real good cup of coffee? Consistency and measure. If you don't know what you're putting into it, how can you try and decide what you want out of it? So that's one thing that I really enjoy about specialty coffee is that it's all measures and ratios. And as long as you follow the recipe, it's always going to be good. One thing that sets Mistress Mabel apart is our customer service. People might not know what they want when they're coming in, but they always leave, you know, extremely happy. Interesting flavor combo. We do an avocado espresso smoothie, which is like next level, it's super tasty. Why did I choose King William? I personally love walking around the city, and this is always a little part of the city that I felt was really lacking, especially in regards to specialty. In the back streets, a bit further back, there's a lot of good operators, but you know, if you're walking down the main street of town, you wanna to be able to grab a, you know, a bang and coffee, so why not? I saw a gap in the market and I jumped on it. <laughs>